Hi, do you ever feel like drawing even before you know what you want to draw? Sometimes I just start making marks on my paper with my pencil before I even know what the picture will be. And sometimes it ends up being a picture of something, and sometimes it ends up being just pencil marks on the paper. Today, I'm going to take a marker and make a dot and another dot. And now I'll draw a line to connect them. There are a lot of different ways to go from one point to another. I could make a straight line, or a jagged line, or a curvy line. But this time, I'll curve around here and then stop, and then come up here to connect. This will be the first line of my drawing. So now I'll look at it and see what ideas come to mind for what I could turn it into. I'll rotate it because you get different ideas looking at it from different angles. It looks a bit like a letter J. Or it could be an elephant's trunk. Or an animal with a long tail. There are so many things it could be. I wonder what ideas it gives you. I wonder if we have any of the same ideas. If I move it this way, it could be the head of a tortoise. And there's the tortoise's mouth, so I'll make her chin here, and her nostril, and I'll put her eye. She's extending her head far out of her shell. So now I'll draw her shell. And you can probably see one of her legs over here. I have this room still over here, so maybe there's another... So there could be something over here, too. Maybe I'll make a mouse on a ledge talking with a tortoise. Maybe they're friends. Maybe the mouse is painting a portrait of the tortoise. Maybe she has an easel over here. I better make the ledge bigger so that there's room for the mouse's easel. And she's doing a portrait of her friend the tortoise. And now I'll draw her painting. So now I'll draw the tortoise again, really, really small, on Mouse's canvas. I'll put a pond in the background, maybe they're by the pond. Actually, wait, I need to draw this from the mouse's point of view, because I was drawing the picture exactly like the one I'd already drawn, but mouse is standing in a different position, so now I have to imagine what would mouse see from where she's standing. So she'd probably see a little more of Tortoise's face, and maybe a little of her shell. Now, since I put a pond in the background of the painting, I'd better put a pond in the background here, too. There they are. A tortoise having her portrait painted by her friend the mouse. I'll see you next time.